In this video, we're going to look at what we mean by the term standard form and how we can convert between numbers in standard form and ordinary numbers. A number written in standard form looks like this. It's some number a times 10 to the power of some other number n. a will always be a number greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. And n must be a whole number or an integer. It's worth also noting that if n is positive, then we're working with a very large number, for example, the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Whereas if n is negative, we're dealing with a small number, a number less than 1, for example, if we were trying to measure the width of an amoeba. Let's say we want to know what the number 4.6 times 10 to the power of 4 is as an ordinary number. Well, to do this, we simply evaluate the calculation. Let's think about what 10 to the power of 4 or 10 to the fourth power is. It's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And this, of course, is equal to 10,000. Notice, of course, that 10 to the power of 4 gives us a number built from a 1 followed by four zeros. And so this means that 4.6 times 10 to the power of 4 is the same as 4.6 times 10,000. Now, if we want to multiply by 10,000, we need to move the digits in the number 4.6 to the left four spaces. When we do, we find that 4.6 times 10,000 is equal to 46,000. Let's repeat this process with the number 2.01 times 10 cubed. We'll begin by working out what 10 cubed is. Well, it's 10 times 10 times 10. And of course, that is simply 1000. And so 2.01 times 10 cubed is equal to 2.01 times 1000. This time, we're going to move all the digits to the left three spaces. And when we do, we get 2010. So 2.01 times 10 cubed is equal to 2010. And in fact, you might be spotting a shortcut here. When we dealt with 4.6 times 10 to the power of 4, we moved all the digits to the left four spaces. Then when we dealt with 2.01 times 10 cubed, we moved all the digits to the left three spaces. And so the power or the indice gives us an indication as to how many spaces we move our numbers. We're going to use a similar logic to write a large number in standard form. Let's try with 698 million. We know that a number in standard form is in the form a times 10 to the power of n, where a is a number greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. And so if we look at the number 698 million, the only way to achieve this is to choose the number 6.98. And so 698 million will be 6.98 times 10 to the power of something. Essentially, to find that something, we need to work out how many times we're going to multiply 6.98 by 10 to get back to the original number, to get to 698 million. Let's imagine moving all the digits to the left. It will kind of look like we're moving the decimal point, although, of course, the decimal point stays in place. We move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 spaces to get to 698 million. And so in fact, we need to multiply 6.98 by 10 8 times to get to 698 million. And this means our power is 8. And in standard form, we have 6.98 times 10 to the power of 8. Let's have a look at another example. We're now going to write 49,030 in standard form. Now I've chosen one where there's a zero between some non-zero digits, as this does cause some issues. Let's begin by thinking about what number we can choose that will be between one and 10. We need to keep a hold of the digits 4903. If we lose any of those, then we change the value of our number. To make the number between 1 and 10, we're going to put the decimal point between the 4 and the 9. So we're going to have this as 4.903 times 10 to the power of something. That something is the number of times we're going to multiply 4.903 by 10 to get back to the original number. When we multiply by 10, we move the digits to the left a number of spaces. But of course, it does look a little bit like the decimal point is moving. 
And so the digits move once, twice, three, four times to get from 4.903 to 49,030. And so we need to multiply 4.903 by 10 four times. And the power or the indice is four. 49,030 is the same as 4.903 times 10 to the power of four. We'll now see how this works when we deal with negative powers or negative indices. For example, seven times 10 to the power of negative five. Whilst it's not an essential skill to help us write this as an ordinary number, it's worth noting that 10 to the power of negative five is the same as one divided by 10 to the power of five. And so an alternative way to think about this is as seven divided by 10 to the power of five. We're going to divide it by 10 five times. And just like when we multiplied by 10, we moved the digits to the left. When we divide by 10, we move the digits to the right. So we need to move the seven to the right five spaces. When we do, we get 0 0.00007. So seven times 10 to the power of negative five as an ordinary number is 0 0.00007. Let's repeat this process with 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative two. 10 to the power of negative two is the same as doing one divided by 10 squared. And so we can then think of 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative two as being the same as 3.1 divided by 10 squared. We're going to divide it by 10 twice, and so the digits are going to move to the right two spaces, and that gives us 0 0.031. So 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative two is 0 0.031. Our final skill is to write a very small number in standard form. Now, since this is a very small number, we know that the power of 10 will be negative. We're going to use the digits six and eight to make a number that's between one and 10. Well, the only way to achieve that is to have 6.8. And so 0 0.000068 must be the same as 6.8 times 10 to the power of something. That power tells us how many times we need to divide by 10. And of course, when we divide by 10, we move the digits to the right. This looks a little bit like moving the decimal point to the left. Of course it's not, the decimal point always remains in place, but it does look like it. And so we begin by moving once, twice, three, four, and five times to get from 6.8 to 0 0.000068. And so 0 0.000068 is equal to 6.8 times 10 to the power of negative five. We'll finally consider 0 0.004. Once again, this is a small number. It's a number less than one. And so it's going to have a negative power of 10. To make the number between one and 10, we choose four. So 0 0.004 is equal to four times 10 to the power of something. That something tells us how many times we're going to divide four by 10. And of course, dividing four by 10 moves the digits to the right which looks a little bit like moving the decimal point to the left. We move once, twice, and three times. And so 0 0.004 is equal to four times 10 to the power of negative three.